Tonight at 11 o'clock on KXLY4, a father's life saved by his daughter's organ donation. Now, 15 years later, he needs another transplant, and all he can do is wait. KXLY4's Caroline Bork is working for you tonight with an update on this heartbroken but hopeful family. Caroline? Melissa, we introduced you to Jenny and David Moore back in 2002 when they first underwent surgery. And back then they said it seemed almost meant to be. Dad and daughter, a perfect match. But now they're back in a position they never imagined needing to return to, hoping for another miracle. He'd struggled with lupus for years. By 2002, David Moore and his family knew he needed a kidney transplant. You know, dialysis sustains your life, but it really isn't living. What he didn't know, his 22-year-old daughter Jenny was planning to be his donor. I really wasn't very happy about it because the idea of taking something from your daughter from anybody would be hard for me to do. But dad and daughter were a match. Jenny was determined, but it was a smaller someone in David's life that finally convinced him. She, she said, now you've got a six-month-old grandson that's going to want you around. I just couldn't imagine my son not having a stable man like my dad. He wasn't going to tell me no after he saw this baby. Jenny and David spoke to KXOI in 2002 after their successful surgeries. Uh, you know, already I feel better and it, it just is just a little miracle. It's what it is. For 14 years, David lived life as normal, free to spend time with Jenny and her son. I could never repay Jenny. What she did was brave and selfless and, and um, took a lot of courage. But last year, his body rejected the kidney. Now he's back on dialysis and hoping for a second transplant. I'm, I'm absolutely heartbroken. Jenny doesn't have another kidney to give, but she's on a mission to help her dad once again. I just don't want too much time to go past for my dad or anybody on, this, on the transplant list where they reach a point where they're no longer eligible. For now, the Moors are waiting. But they're waiting hopefully. They know firsthand just how far the impact of a donation spreads. The rewards are right here. It's not always just about the person that gets the kidney. Now David acknowledges that he's not the only person in Spokane who needs a kidney. Many patients here still waiting for a first transplant. He knows it's a lot to ask, but if you are interested in learning more about the kidney donation process in general, we'll have details on our website. Just search KXOY.com. Reporting in studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOY4 News.